Imagine driving a car so fast it literally sucks itself to the road. No, it's not some sci-fi fantasy. It's the Chaparral 2J, and it's real. A car that pushed the boundaries of what was possible until it got banned. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen and my friend Timmy, the only man I know who once tried to cool down his soup using a leaf blower, today we're diving into the story of a car so wild, so ahead of its time, it got itself kicked out of racing for being too good. And no, it's not Bob's three-wheeled Prius with alien detection radar, we're talking about the 1970 Chaparral 2J, aka the vacuum cleaner of doom. Now, before we start, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button like you're slapping Timmy's hand away from a third shot of homemade schnapps. This channel brings you the craziest rides, the rarest finds, and the most questionable facial expressions from yours truly. All right, the Chaparral 2J. Built in 1970 by Chaparral Cars, this was no ordinary race car. Underneath its fiberglass body and aluminium monocoque chassis lived a 680-horsepower Chevrolet V8 engine, revving up to 7,000 revolutions per minute. That's more than enough to make Timmy lose his fishing hat again, and possibly his eyebrows. And this beast didn't just go fast. It sucked in a good way. You see, it had two massive fans at the rear, powered by a snowmobile engine. That's right, it had its own little engine just to run vacuum fans that literally sucked the car to the ground. It could generate up to 1.5G of downforce, even when parked. Parked. Now, the fans weren't the only trick up its fiberglass sleeves. The 2J had flexible plastic skirts along the bottom edges, sealing the vacuum under the car like it was holding on to government secrets. This thing stuck to the road, Harder than my neighbor Hank clings to conspiracy theories from Bob about aliens being behind road tolls. So why isn't this masterpiece still dominating tracks today? Because, folks, the 2J was too good. Competitors whined louder than Timmy at a vegan barbecue. In 1970, the governing body banned it under the rule against movable aerodynamic devices. Translation, you made us look bad, now go home. That's like banning Hank from the local hardware store because he fixed the plumbing too efficiently. Still, the 2J's impact echoed through motorsport history. Remember the Brabham BT46B with the rear fan? Yep, same vacuum concept, banned after one race. Racing authorities were apparently allergic to innovation. And speaking of echoes, this car lives on in miniature too. In 1971, Hot Wheels released a 1 to 43 scale version under their Grand Toros line. No Hot Wheels logo on the base, just like Timmy's Mystery Meat Stew. You have no idea what's in it, but you know it's rare and probably collectible. These models came in red, white, or silver with 67 decals and had opening compartments. Even the fan detail made it to the back. So, how much damage will it do to your wallet? Back in 1970, it was estimated at $200,000, which adjusted for inflation is around $1.5 million in 2025, or about 1.4 million euros if you're European and slightly more reasonable about speed limits. These days, the 2J is a museum piece. You won't find it on Craigslist unless someone's really confused. But if it ever shows up at an auction, Expect the bids to skyrocket faster than Bob's blood pressure during a live broadcast of aliens landing on the moon. And before we wrap up, for just one single dollar a month, you can sponsor this channel. That's right, for less than the cost of Bob's anti-alien tinfoil helmet, you can help us bring more absurd automotive stories your way. Links in the description. No vacuum required.